The October 1st meeting of the uh, Tiverton Town Council. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, um, Nancy. Councilor Perry. Present. Councilor Shabbat. Present. Councilor Ryan. Present. Councilor Hilton. Present. Councilor DeMadiris. Present. Councilor LeBeau. Here. Councilor Edwards is absent. At this time, I, I am making a motion to request an item added to the agenda to go out for advertising for the Texas Ski and Tool and Compatible Laptop. I'll make that motion. Second? I need oh, it. Do I have a I'll second? I'll second. Motion remain seconding for the discussion. All those in favor? Jan. Uh, thank you. I'm this, I was just asked to do this uh, about an hour ago. Um, I do believe we discussed in the past the need for uh, the town to acquire a scanning tool because these days the uh, trucks cannot really be fixed without uh, diagnostic equipment and not having the equipment means that for a lot of repairs, you need to send out uh, the trucks, uh, which makes it a lot more uh, expensive. Um, for some time now, we've discussed with both the police and the fire department, and the DPW director can provide more details to what extent there is a shared need for this equipment, to what extent we can either use a, um, a used scanner, um, and to what extent we can uh, split the costs between the three departments uh, to get that scanner. I was told that right now we have several trucks <clears throat> waiting to be repaired that will have to be sent out unless we uh, can get a scanner relatively quickly. That's all I know. What is the estimated cost of this? I think it's $12,000. Is it 12000 Yes. We hope it comes Where are we planning on taking this from, do you think? Do you have any plans? Uh, <clears throat> and again, uh, the director has been in, in discussions in particular with the police chief. I think part of it is the uh, vehicle maintenance account at the police department, which the chief offered because there is funding in that, and the department would also uh, benefit from it. Uh, I don't know if there have been discussions with the treasurer about this. Not yet, but maybe. Yes, there has been some discussion with the fire department. And police department. Yeah, well, would you mind coming up? Oh, no. Thanks. <laughs> Good evening. So there has been some discussion with the police department, fire department, uh, and we would pick up some of the cost. The police might kick in 5000 and the fire department and DPW, the rest. And also, the, uh, we would share the cost for the software. The 12,000 more or less would be for the scanning tool and the monitor. And as uh, the administrator said, thank you, uh, the equipment has to either be sent out if we can't scan it. Uh, even your cars, when they go to the dealer, they scan them. Uh, ours is a little more expensive tool because it does cars all the way up to heavy duty trucks, fire trucks, and equipment, front end loaders, uh, dozers, et cetera. The other option is you do a little bit of uh, pick and patch. You, you say that you think it might be this item, so you buy it, you replace it. That's not a cost effective way to go. Any questions from the council? Like to entertain a motion? I'll make a motion, we go out to bid. For the Texas Scan Tool and Compatible Laptop. Second. I have a second. Second. Motion to be made in second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Thank, Thank you. you. Before I begin, I was given a couple of announcements, and I know that I will forget if I wait till the end, so I'm going to do them now. Um, Sally Black has given me this to say. The Global Anti-Bully Day Day is today, October 1st. Sparky's here, Artivit, uh, outside of Andy, uh, Randy, <laughs> here, Artivit and Substance Free Anti Bully Bear. 
Your shirt says, name it, claim it, stop it. Sparky stands for students performing acts of real kindness. Yippee, is that what it says? Mm -hmm. Yippee. Sally Black, thank you. Thank you. And um, the next item is the Tiverton Library has hired a new director, Catherine Domini. There will be a reception to welcome her on Saturday, October 13th from 10.30 a.m. to noon uh, at the reading room at the Tiverton Library. Light refreshments will be served, and we hope as many people can make it to welcome her to Tiverton. Madam President. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not there. Oh, you're not done yet? No. <laughs> um, this would be my consent agenda, I'd imagine. Approval of executive session meeting minutes of September 10th, 2018. Councilor Hilton abstains. Absent. Approval of executive session meeting minutes of September 21st, 2018. Councilor Edwards absent. Do I have a motion to accept the two executive sessions? So moved. Um, do I have a second? Second. Motion remain second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Item two, public hearing for proposed amendment to code of ordinance regarding casino gaming revenue, chapter two, administration, article five, finance division one, generally. Um, Councilor LeBeau was the first to put this on the agenda, and this is his item. Would you uh, like to start? Maybe? I would. So uh, at this time, I would like to table this item, uh, the agenda item, uh, until the resolution is voted on uh, by the people in the upcoming election on June, I mean, uh, November 6th. Um, we're going to wait and see if that amendment passes first, and then we'll continue this at that point. If I can, uh, I don't know if I should do it as yeah. a motion. And All right, so we'll make that a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion's been made and second. Now discussion. Um, any councils like to uh, discuss this item? Councilor Hilton? Uh, I would, I, I just like to say I, I think this is a prudent way to go. Um, I was absent at the meeting when this first came up, but I, I think that, um, you know, the council should really focus on helping citizens to understand the charter amendment and why we think that that's the best way to use the casino revenue. Um, I think there's some confusion about that out there. I actually think there's a somewhat active campaign of disinformation about it. Um, and I, I think that, that uh, sort of focusing on the charter amendment first um, and letting the voters understand what that really means and how it would really work um, and then hopefully seeing that adopted um, is the best first step to take without, you know, kind of muddying the waters, trying to do too many things at one time. So I'm um, happy to have this um, be tabled and, and uh, focus our efforts on, on helping people understand what the Charter Amendment means before the election. Um, i like to say that this is what I thought from the beginning, that this was putting the cop before the horse. I think the people need to tell us if they want us to do it this way. And if they do, we are, we are more than prepared to make this work. But I think at this point, we have to see um, what our vote is. Um, there is a lot of misunderstanding on what we are doing with this, uh, purposeful, I think. Um, and I think that that's what this council needs to concentrate on, is educating the public and telling them why this is the wisest way to spend the seal money. Madam President? Yes. I would like to just say that, um, to me, this is so premature. I think that one of the reasons this confusion is because we've never had discussion about the casino money, period, for years, for, for years, for months. It just feels like years. So um, I, think, I think we need a five-year plan. I think we need to put priorities out there. I think we need to discuss it. I think we need to listen to people. I think we need to um, figure out how people can vote for it. So I would think all of those, not just let's, uh, let's make a push for the resolution. Because I think, I think that's backwards. We haven't even had discussions about the money. Thank you. Councilor Shabbat? No comment. I've been saying right along, I think the people should decide where the money goes. That's what I've been saying right along. So I'm glad to see that we're going to wait till November and see what the people say. We're going to vote. And then Madam yeah. President? Yes. Uh, I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. My idea is still to put it into ordinance. 
still this money still needs not to go into the general fund by no way shape or form I just don't think right now is the time for us to pass an ordinance when we have another one when we have a charter amendment out there so I don't want anybody to think that I've changed my mind because I didn't it's I don't think any of us really have changed their minds but this is the well, I got some bullying emails. People telling me that so they know more than me. So should have told them about I called the bear on the bullying, and that's why he's here. <laughs> and they're not here, so we're good to go. Yeah. Just because um, we were talking about information, accurate information before, I just want to make clear that to the extent there is confusion, that this was not a proposal to put the money in the general fund. It was a proposal not to put it in the operating budget. Very different, but I guess there's a lot of education still to be done. Yeah. And there will be a voter pamphlet that Nancy's working on and that I'm going to work on with, with the council and um, get Jan and Tony's input to educate um, the public more to what we are looking at. Okay, so I have a motion on the floor, and I have a second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. I've got a question. Yes. Please. Well, I haven't opened a public hearing, and I'm not going to since this is what happened. But but you need to come to the mic, and I'll thank you. Peter Mellon, Mr. Captain Sir, 83 Captain Sir. I think every public meeting should be open. Then you can close it for whatever reasons or have a hearing. It's the courtesy of the fact that anybody from the public that comes here has an opportunity to talk. And now just open and closing without having that input is kind of. Well, I'm letting you speak. If you'd like to say something, you can. Well, yes, I do want to speak. I just, that's one point. I like You should open a meeting, see if there's anybody from the public first, then close it. Two, um, since you're going to postpone this to the referendum, does anybody have an idea, or you know, I know you do have an idea, a copy of the referendum? Well, it's an ordinance, but we do. I know, that's what Mandy is proposing. I'm saying on the charter review. Yes, yes, we do, and we have Could you read that? Uh, is it available to be read well, at this no, moment? To get into the public well, record? It's on our website. We, I know. We've <coughs> had two public meetings regarding it. Some people don't have uh, websites, All right, but, but they we watch this. workshops. This. But this so is an opportunity for you to get this out under the public on, uh, on the, the cable. That's my two points. It, Thank you. Yeah, it's part of it. Nancy, which one is it? Do you know? It's 11 or 12. It's 11 or 12. I think it's 10. Or 10. Yeah, I think it's 10, because there's no 12, <laughs> so, yeah. The 11 is the town referendum. Um, 10 is the casino revenue. And the ballot question will be, shall the town charter be amended to allow casino gaming revenue to be used on debt service, capital develop development, or infrastructure, and to prohibit its use on the operation budget? The reason for change is, shall the Tiverton town charter be amended? No. You don't want me to do that. Okay. So that is the ballot question, yeah, Peter. Okay. Let's just set up the blue is the class that's Yeah, yeah. Okay. That is the question. It's 10. Okay, so now um, I, I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session. Council President Personnel 42465A1. Town Administrator's six month evaluation notice given. Second. Yes. 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 Okay.